Welcome back to Pangani Tribe. It has been too long since we vlogged on this channel and took a family trip. So that is what we decided to do. We hopped in the van, packed it to the brim. I'm gonna show you guys. And we came to Cades Cove up near Gatlinburg, um, Tennessee area in the Smoky Mountains. And we were so excited. So here's our little plot of land. It is um, completely no electricity, no water. We just brought our tent and all the camping supplies we need to make a few days happen here. So we'll bring you along on the whole journey of our stay, all the good points, um, everything you need to know about staying in Cades Cove. So stay tuned for all of the tips. We're gonna try and give you as much information as we can um, just about what it's like to stay here, what you might need, what you might want to think about. Um, and other than that, you'll just get to see our family enjoy this beautiful spot. We love the Smokies, so I wanna show you guys our car with all of our stuff they did so good on the drive up here he did so good so here's some stuff already out but Keith did major high a major job packing this so we had three boys in the back one girl in the seat over there tons of stuff he took the um coolers out already but safety first packed to the brim this is packed to the brim which that stores a ton of stuff and then I can't even open the trunk because everything will fall out. That's also packed to the brim. So we're here now, we're ready to set up our spot. Here is our before and I'll show you the after. Our first step is getting our site ready in case it rains, which it is supposed to rain at the end of our trip. So Heath's got three out of four sides of this tarp that's gonna go over our tent just to kind of take the brunt of the rain. We have a tent on the bottom, or a tarp I mean, on the bottom, and then our tent laid out under there. That's gonna be set up soon. So the boys are helping daddy. Yeah, we use at Disney camping. Yeah, we have used it at Disney camping. It's gonna be awesome. It is so beautiful here. Lots of trees. We got our picnic table and our fire pit. This stuff we brought, our little grate, um, and the cast iron, but the shade here and everything is amazing. It feels and looks beautiful, so we're so excited to be here. Well, would you look at this? We got our boys getting the tent stakes in, and the Taj Mahal tent is set up. Pretty much done. We got to put the rain fly and then work on the inside. But we love this thing. It's been a few years since we used it. But so exciting. We have set up our campsite, which I will give you a little tour of when we get back, but we came right over to the campground store. We need to get firewood. So it is currently May, 2022, and here are their prices for firewood and all that. They also have ice cream and ice and souvenirs, vending machines, and I believe there's a bicycle rental over here. Um, so you can also rent bikes. Um, bike the loop, there we go. But yeah, we're gonna go inside and grab that and I'll show you what's in here as well. Oh, all kinds of stuff. They got Pocky. <laughs> There's jelly and honey, and of course, lots of souvenirs, rock candy, little gems, candy, all kinds of stuff, little snacks. Yeah, they got all kinds of stuff, so if you need something to eat, they've got it, got little souvenir type candies and then of course little stuff that you may have forgotten and over here it looks like a lot of fun stuff so stickers and jewelry and patches and stamps refrigerated stuff mugs which are always my favorite oh that's a cute ice cream mug 
More mugs. Tons of stuff. All kinds of stuff and firewood. And $10 firewood. I did. I showed them the price so that you're at least prepared. And yeah, just a lot of a lot of souvenir stuff. Babies. How cute. We got this hand washing station off of Amazon so we can have clean water for obviously washing hands or dishes, whatever. So we'll probably have to fill it up a few times, but down here at the end kind of of our loop is like the dump station and the clean water fill station. So here's a water spigot to fill that up. And yeah, it's kind of on the back end loop of the campground. This is how they used to do it, guys. So here's a tour of the inside. Um, this is our tent. So this is where, this is the table. Then my dad's storing the batteries. And then got the fan. And then we've got the windows open. And then we have blow-up mattress, the sleeping bag. Then this is basically a closet. You can close the doors. We're hanging up our um, sweaters. And then we got another blow up mattress. This is where mom and dad sleep and our sister. And then we got the cot where my brother Lynn will be sleeping. We've got the pillow, his blanket, his sleeping bag. And down under the cot, we got like five towels, five or six. And then we've got some diapers. Then that's the toiletry bags. And then we like to keep air coming in, so we've got the one, all the windows open. We've got two pockets on each side. That's holding my fanny pack, and then this one's holding another fanny pack. And yeah, just it's our simple little tent. So yeah, I hope I hope you guys like our, or I hope you guys like the tent tour. So. Here you go. Sometimes in order to keep the peace, you gotta let baby do what they wanna do. And since she can't really crawl on the rocks and the ground, she's crawling all oh. over mommy. But she also is eating banana. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. And so she has, you can see close up, banana literally all over me and all over herself, but mostly on me because she was rubbing it on me. But that's okay. We'll just clean off when she's done. Daddy's making dinner and we're trying to keep her occupied because she was starting to get fussy. Now she's eating banana peels, so, you know, you do what you gotta do. Daddy has sweet potatoes going in the Dutch oven. I think I showed this, excuse me, I think I showed this off earlier, but he brought that grate. So all that was here was the fire pit, obviously, and then they have their own um, little grate that goes over it if you don't have anything of your own. Um, but we brought all of this ourselves. So we plan on just cooking everything over a fire. We have the Dutch oven, then we have a cast iron over there also. And we've been gathering as much firewood as we can, sticks and things from around here. Um, but it doesn't seem like there's the, so many big ones right around us. We might have to try again tomorrow. But for now, we got a pretty decent fire. And the boys are kind of just playing around, waiting for some dinner. We're gonna do a short ribs tonight. Since this is primitive camping, there's no water. So we filled up our five gallon solar shower with just regular hose water, which was freezing. And it's the evening now, so it's gonna be freezing for showers tonight. But he got his jet boil and got what is that, maybe like two cups of water or something? Yeah, like two full, not two cups, it's, it's cups, it's probably like eight cups. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it's pretty, it's bigger than it looks. Um, yeah, so he boiled that up and added hot water in there so that it won't be a hot shower, but it won't be a freezing cold shower, so. Yeah, the water here is freezing. So freezing. So hopefully that'll help us be able to take a little bit of a warm shower in a little while. You guys saw our tent, so we've barely used that yet, so it's still all clean. And then the, we're also setting up the rest of dinner. 
Oh, and here's the short ribs that were marinating. Look how good that looks. That's gonna be amazing. We got some beans. You eating some beans? Yum. Listen to the sizzle. We got our short ribs on, going on. Ooh, that's gonna be so good. Happy eating. This is why she married me. <laughs> the only reason. No, not the only reason. Looks good, buddy. Mm. Good job, right? There we go. Look at that sizzling up. That looks so delicious. Thank you, babe. Gotta get a picture. Looks so good. Here we go, the finished product. Mmm, mm, got some sweet potatoes, beans, Korean barbecue, a sleepy baby girl. Happy birthday soon, you want some meat? Yeah. yeah. How was it, Rye? Good. Landon? Good. How about you, Ovi? Good. Good. <laughs> oh, I just said these trees are pretty and Owen said, no, them pretty, them cool. But this is such a beautiful drive. We're taking a little drive now because we have absolutely no cell service or Wi-Fi or anything, which is fine, but we weren't anticipating that. So now we need to go check in on a few so people. Well, what she's trying to say is <laughs> if you're camping at the campground, there's zero service. Zero. So just know that um, we have some work we have to do, so we can knock it out in like 10 minutes, but we need service. So. If you go out of the entrance and make a right, like nine miles away is Townsend. So uh, we can go over there and get some service. Yeah. So, yeah, just know that you won't even have any bars. Literally, your phone will say no service. So it's beautiful. It's a great place to be, like, disconnected. Um, but, yeah, we're going to take a little drive, and on, we'll give you a recap on how long it took us to find service out of the park. Okay, so update on cell service. As soon as we were entering into Townsend, just like Heath said, there is a little campground that KOA, you will see right? yeah. to your right, a KOA. Yeah, that one was called like Little Arrowhead, and then there's a KOA right here. Um, as soon as you start hitting a few things, you'll get service. So all of our texts started popping up, um, and so we're actually pulled in at this like gas station that is currently closed. Um, just to like check our emails, answer some people that we have kind of been ignoring all day because we didn't realize we wouldn't have service. So we're going to get to that. But yeah, it took us about, what would you say, 15 minutes? 10. 10. 10 minutes to get out here so you can run out and get service or hop on your emails or whatever you need. We're sitting out by the fire. Owen fell asleep. He's in the tent. Got a beautiful fire with the wood we just picked up. <laughs> Landon made a spear. That's a pretty awesome spear. Yeah. And Aspen woke up, so she's enjoying the fire. And this is going to be the end of our night, but we'll pick it up tomorrow. See ya. Good morning. It is so windy out. It felt great last night. It was like in the 60s and... It was like a little bit chilly, but mostly because I like wasn't prepared to feel chilly. Um, but it felt good. Everyone slept great. Aspen slept great. Owen slept on the cot. He did great. You ready? We're going to go for a little morning walk through the woods. The older boys and daddy are already over here. Um, so here's our spot. And we're right across here. This little wooded area. So we're going to go take a little walk through there. We have some exciting things planned for today. So we're very excited. Let's go. Owen oh, found some firewood for us. Good job, bud. That's a lot of sticks to climb up the hill. <laughs> We're gonna go put our firewood away. Get ready for our day. I know. Good boy. I'm proud of you, Owen. Even though we packed all our own food, sometimes you gotta stop for breakfast. And we were just feeling it today. So 
we drove back over into town i think we decided it's only like six miles um to get here but this is the riverstone restaurant that is right in townsend breakfast lunch and dinner so we're gonna go check it out and see what they have to offer um has good reviews online so get some food I was, yeah i think i was driving and i was Sit down Ellie. I'm gonna grab some menus and figure out what we're having for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Look at the river coming Breakfast time. How is it? Good. These, good. These, these, um, these hash browns. So good. How about you, O? Good. Good. <laughs> May May's eating eggs. What are you eating? Big spoon. Big spoon. <laughs> it looks good. Very good. So we found a nice little watering hole. You can skip rocks. You can swim. Of course, you got to be careful. Um, there's some moving water over here. So plenty of parking. Now, I don't know how to say it, but if you just Google like W-Y-E swimming, this whole section will come up and there's a sign that says area closed do not climb you know or whatever something like that anyways uh i just suggest never read signs don't read signs but there's no signs like that way over there it's just uh this is a little bit of a calmer section right here at the moment with all this wind so perfect place to set up and you can uh set up a little picnic over here and hang out and families and moms and dads and babies they can all go sit under the shade so very nice little spot this is absolutely beautiful you know the the younger kids they can play right here in the shallows but you can see that it gets deeper and, and way down there it's also deep and things like that and there's plenty of signs that say no diving and and all that stuff but of course just be careful out here guys but there's plenty of beautiful spots now here's how you get to the spot if you're staying at caves cove campground you come out of caves caves code campground and you make a right you make a right and you just keep heading down keep heading down and you'll see an intersection where you can go to townsend or you can go to gatlinburg i believe it's right there at that intersection it's about 15 minutes so uh, from the campground so if you just come out of the campground make a right you'll run into this spot in like maybe 12 13 minutes so the parking's right up there i'm showing you guys another spot where we're gonna set up so you come down the rocks and then you got this whole nice little spot here and there's the bend that's the intersection right there so gatlinburg townsend this way and um, now we're in front of that moving water. So there's this whole section over here. And you can swim here and do whatever you want. Hang out, have a picnic, it's beautiful. There goes Rye and Landon. And look who's joining us, Owie and Mommy. Go Landon, go Landon. Nice little spot. Watch this one. Okay. Okay. There's a in here. Shoot. All the way to the other side. Whoa. Another one? Holy moly. There's so many butterflies around here. All right, here goes Oe. He's going to try and make a big splash. That's gonna make a big right, splash. Watch this one, you ready? Here it goes. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa. Go, May May. That's a May May. <laughs> May May! Up here, look. May May, up here. Aspen, you're I so good at exploring. I found this in the water crystal. Wow, that's pretty awesome. 
bug. What'd you find? Another crystal. However long you want. Okay, another thing you need to know about Cades Cove is if you're gonna do the Cades Cove loop, just know that the loop is always closed on Wednesdays. Why do they do that? I'm not really sure. I think it's for maintenance and stuff like that. But this is a really cool part. Um, you can just obviously have these beautiful views, but then you can just see animals on the side of the road. So here's their horses. We're gonna go up and pet. <laughs> Say hi. Hey. Yeah, pet it. <laughs> that's not a cow, that's a horse, that's black and white. Another nice thing about coming to Cades Cove, especially in May, is it's not as busy. Like look at all these cars, they're not on the road. Usually when you come in like peak season, you're, I mean, I'm going, I don't know, are you allowed to go 15 miles in the park? But uh, I was just going 15 miles per hour. I don't know if that's good or bad, but um, usually on peak season, you're going like two miles per hour. Yeah, I've heard people say it takes as long as four hours. Yeah, and so sometimes you just want to like have a beautiful drive through Cades Cove, and if you come at peak season, it'll still be beautiful, but it'll be a lot of exhaust in your face and other people's cars just backing you up. So if you come in like May, you know, it's beautiful time. I get it. It's not all colorful leaves but the green is just as beautiful like look at that come on that's still beautiful and you have the chance to see some animals so you got wide open roads pretty much right here as we're going through the loop come here owen we ran across cades cove primitive baptist church from 1827 oh my goodness gracious and there's some old graves here and there's a real old building, clearly, from 1827. Little shed or outhouse. <laughs> we'll take a look around, but this was back here. So it's pretty cool that it's still here. Take a look, you wanna go inside or outside first? Outside. outside first, all right, let's go check it out. How long ago is 1827? Well, yep, about to be 200 years. There's a lot of them, yeah, all they them. must be families. A lot of the same names. These ones look like new. Look, Phil and Lisa. That's like a new headstone. And then some of these are old. Look at this, you can't even read it anymore. So they do put on little programs in there and there's a man in there teaching all about the church and the way that the Baptists thought um, back then. He even played some music from what it would have been like in there. Um, and Heath is still in there listening with the kids are getting a little loud. So in order for everyone else to listen, we wanted to make sure we left, but there was some really cool things. So for one, the church was built like a hundred or almost 200 years ago and they built the all the wood on the inside has sap and you can actually see like their fingerprints and handprints and even kid handprints um who are obviously like helping to build with their parents and that is just so cool like can you even believe like they would have never thought that their fingerprints would still be there this long um and there's just a lot of cool things about their faith um they had service once a month there um women sat on one side of the room men sat on the other side they only did adult baptism, they didn't believe in instruments, and they only believed in the Bible as like the only authority. Um, they didn't call their pastor a pastor or a minister or anything like that. He was just an elder because they didn't think of anyone higher than someone else. They said that they would do um, foot washing services. Um, so just some really cool stuff that we learned about them and the man who's teaching in there, his great grandmother or his grandmother, um, was a part of this church so he has firsthand knowledge of um his family and their stories that they've passed down so pretty cool so we're taking a walk outside while he finishes listening um and we'll see if he learns anything else new in there so i'm showing you through my binoculars over there there are some bears hold on let me make it clear there are some bears right there in the grass 
So shaky. Sorry. Bears. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little shaky because my binoculars. That's uh, pretty sweet. There's a mama bear and some cubs. They may swing. So here's dinner. We got sweet potatoes, chicken, corn, and green beans. How's your dinner? Oh, oh, and you ate so much already. Glad you like it. What day is it? My birthday. Your birthday? How old are you? Three. Three years old? What did Rylan set up for you? I set up a pinata for Owie. You get to hit it. And then, and then there's something inside for you. And there's I a gift know. inside, Owie. You get to hit it with this. Okay? <laughs> Hit it high. Nice. Keep going, keep going. Yay. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! It's your What's birthday present. What's inside? No way. Look, it says Hulk Smash. With the hammer and Spider Man and Iron Man. You love these guys. Oh, we come here. Okay. I love you. Birthday, dear Oe. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> Birthday cake for breakfast. Mm, it's ice cream. Yum. Look. Has Oe been asking for cake for so long? And then you didn't even have to wait. Is it May birthday? It's May May's birthday or Oe's birthday? Bye. He's smashing cake. <laughs> Alright, birthday man. Hot dogs for breakfast. Oe's favorite food. And what else? What's that? Oh, Cheetos! I think Owen's going to sit in there. Hot dogs and Cheetos for breakfast. What is a trip without a general store visit? There's no touristy mountain trips without one of these, so I think everyone's inside. This has a ton of stuff out here. <laughs> Keith had to pull over. He loves these type of places. Thank you. You're welcome. Your second stop of the day is the Apple Barn, which is in Pigeon Forge, and it's one of the best finds we've ever found. We come here every single time. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you everything here because it's just too good. We can't pass it up. Thank you. All right, we picked up a few things. Right, what'd you get? Some taffy. Yep, I got um, I got peppermint. We got taffy. We got what'd you get? Chocolate covered blueberries. I did. Yep. And we got some bread. I sour apple. Sour apple. What'd you get, birthday boy? Mm. A banana one? Mm. Yum. So they have their candy shop, and then we just went to the bakery and we tried their caramel apple ice cream. We just got a sample. So good. Now off to the main apple farm. He's got a restock on his apple cider. And there's a lot of stuff in here, so tried this coffee before delicious I should just get a big one but this lasted me a few you still eating this is where we got our bread oh apple cider vinegar it's probably fresh and good bread. yeah you guys come to apple barn you have two choices filtered and unfiltered always get unfiltered <laughs> It's Why? creamier. It oh, tastes it's creamier. Way yep. But the boys like filtered. Yeah. <laughs> Aspen May's first time drinking apple barn juice. Let's see. Last time we did taste test on our oh, last she, vlog here. She doesn't want to give it up. You got to say, scale of 1 to 10, Aspen. Scale of 1 to 10. How good? You want some more? Let's see. You want some more? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That is cute. 
Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Let's see if you crawl up here. Look, May. She's sitting, waiting for what her change. Okay. <laughs> We've never tried the apple pie or the fried apple pie, so we thought, why not today? We have had a great day. Um, it, it has been, obviously, Owen's birthday. And so we went to a ton of little places after the apple bar, and we just kind of stopped at some of those, like, general store type places. Now we're back, and Owen is fast asleep. <laughs> He's in the car. We unbuckled him and everything, but... Look at her boo-boo. About this trip so far has just been so nice and relaxing. So we are just taking it in. This is our last night at Cades Cove Campground and it has been so nice. So it did pour down rain last night, but it did not all day. So that was our hope. We were praying that we could let everything dry out, which it did. It dried out in the sun all day today. So we'll probably start packing some things up tonight and then finishing up in the morning. And then we're out of here. We have another fun destination planned next. Um, so there'll be a whole nother vlog on that. But yeah, I'll continue the vlog through the night tonight. And please, as always, leave any questions you have about camping in Cades Cove. If we didn't already answer them, we'd love to answer them down below. But yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the night. <laughs> Hi, hiker man. What's up, bud? Did you go for a hike? For the fire? Those are good. Yeah, another day, another dinner. We're making foil packs tonight, so we got potatoes and carrots and onion seasoning and then the marinated steak from last night we're gonna put it all together in little packs each everyone's gonna make their own and then put it on the fire and let those foil cook packs. up yeah foil packs yeah. okay Can I go pretty much everyone's Hang on. foil wraps are Can up wait a second okay. just put them in fold them on up and then they're gonna go on the fire like this there they go Gonna start to cook. So we got our creative guy. Show me what you built. A hair tie gun. So what I'm gonna, what you do is you put in the notch and then you pull it back like this onto, onto the stone. The stone, yeah. Nice. And then it hooks on, and then it can hold it in place underneath. Uh huh. Until you're ready to shoot, and then when you're ready, you you bring it up from the stone. And then you go, and it shoots. Awesome. Hey, let me see that real quick. Uh-oh. The stone came off. Oh, that's okay. You can always yeah. tie it back on. Yeah. But great idea, bro. Thanks. That's awesome. Okay, it looks like you've got an improved version here. Let's see. Yeah. So I had to change it up with the rock. The other rock, it was kind of um, slipping off. Was it so like this one? Yeah, it was like that. It was slipping under and stuff. So my dad helped me with it a little closer, and then we put a notch in it. And then we have a rope, we had a um, notch for the rope, so then it holds that in place. So there's and a notch down there for the yeah. rope, and then a notch for your stone. Yeah, and then like, and then you slide it in that notch behind, and then it can, then you push it so up. So what about when you're ready to shoot it? What do you do? So, all you do is you gotta kinda pull it, and then go. Oh. And look at it. Oh wow, okay. Awesome, man. Good job, buddy. That looks good. Delicious. You like your steak? Steak for the birthday, boy. We found a band at a campsite. <laughs> they drew the crowd. Mountain music. So this is how Shannon does the dishes. <laughs> We have this, like I showed you guys earlier, lantern, and then we brought this little collapsible thing. And I'm testing this out because soon I'm going to get a water heater for primitive camping. Um, but I have this jet boil, and I'm using it to boil water, which it boils in like a minute. And I'm going to put it in that, and then I'm going to use that water, put it in our shower, and then over there, where we have our shower, we'll have warm water. The boys are playing their new game on top of the toilet. Toilet seat. <laughs> Good morning. There's only one kiddo left sleeping in there. Everyone else is up. And we are packing up today, but we're having one last fire. So Keith and Landon built this great teepee fire for our last morning here. It's got 
Did I just say it got freezing cold? Because it got freezing cold. So everyone's kind of warming up by the fire. We're very cold and we are going to start taking it down today. And our very next video that we're putting up is all about camping at the campground. So it's very specific. So it's all the things you need to know, the rules, what you need, what you need to pack, what you do here, all the things. So that will be coming up next if you want like a kind of quick and in-depth just overview of everything that we learned coming here. That will be our next video, but we hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you next time.